Drive a all white right Couldn't hit it if you niggas had iron Lanes can't call and you lame You had it and you lost it all the time I can buy a belly, don't Is that a Ferrari or a Porsche? Or what is that? Let me know, okay? Daddy's pulling up. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Coco. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin. And you know how to spell Coco. Oh my God, it's been a long time since I have vlogged. Um, it has been... I want to say two weeks, three weeks. So I got back from Italy July 8th. And so um, I basically have not picked up the camera since then. Today I got up and I decided why not let me get back to things. Um, by the time you're watching this vlog, my Italy vlog will be up. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited. I'm happy to be back on camera and vlogging for you guys. Today has been a super productive day. Um, let me put you guys down for a second. I got up this morning. I went on a nice long walk, me and Chanel. Um, I'm trying to get back, well get back because I was never ever working out before. I do work out once in a while. I'll do like Pilates here and there with my friend. Full dance classes I've done as well. Uh, what else have I tried? I, I do hiking once in a while so I don't really dedicate myself to a workout routine, working out every day, but I kind of want to get into the group of doing that. Um, I mean, I have a nice body. We all know that. Okay. So I really don't have to do too much, but today I decided that, you know what, I need to start getting back into really working out. So I went on a nice walk with Chanel. Um, I honestly should have started vlogging this morning, but whatever. Um, I just needed... <laughs> for myself to kind of work out today. So me and Chanel went on a nice long walk and then when I came back, I did some ab work. Um, I stretched a little bit of yoga and stuff at home. And then I made myself a smoothie and then I washed my hair. <laughs> so this is the same hair um, that I got done, I wanna say last month, cause it's about to be uh, I'm all over the place. I have not picked up the camera in a while, so things are just very confusing. It's 3.54 in the afternoon. Me and TD are about to go get some lunch and I wanted to kinda, you know, just start a new vlog. It's about to be a new month, so I'm praying for new energy new everything you know um so i want to show you guys my outfit i have this top i got from zara i believe a while ago um my dress pants i have my hermes slides i have this green really cute tiny um chanel purse i'm wearing it as cross body because it's a casual look today um i actually got this for my trip to Italy so make sure you go on that vlog so you can see how I styled this green bag with this green outfit that I will eventually wear on camera for you guys one day but yeah so this is my I am casual look I am probably going to once me and TD are done probably get you know drinks somewhere else or something you know just hang out see what it's given I just wanted to start this new vlog guys. Um, it's been a while. I know you guys are probably like, oh my god Where's the video? Where's the video? Here you go. We're starting a new vlog for jewelry. I actually have on my Tiffany three diamond um, Necklace that TD got me. I have on a Chanel studs and then I have Cartier Cartier Yeah, so that is uh, That is the outfit um, I can't believe I really washed my hair today on my own and styled it. Um, yeah, I'm going to put some rods into it tonight and it's going to be much better tomorrow. Um, because I'm not the best when it comes to uh, curling my hair. But I did wash it and so like my natural hair, my leave out in the front looks so much better. And uh, yeah, you guys know I don't really put edge control on my edges. I have natural hair. Um, so putting edge control on my edges in the summertime is really a waste. So that's why I did a middle part so that I can just, you know, 
cover those edges as long as my uh, front here is good we're good so let's go ahead and uh, head out to lunch tomorrow I will show you guys my little workout routine and stuff like that and you know how I make my smoothie we'll do all of that tomorrow because I didn't do it today so that will motivate me to get up tomorrow and actually work out again because I've just I've just been in my own world so this whole vlogging thing you guys are gonna get what you get I did my workout today I went on a two mile walk with Chanel did not bring the camera because one I had to hold my keys a bottle of water but yeah, and then I came back, you know, stretched, did some ab workout because I'm trying to get my, you know, I'm trying to get my abs together. I just dropped my Italy vlog yesterday. So go check it out. It was the last vlog before this one. Go check it out. I had a blast. We got a couple of things to do today. Workout completed. Now I gotta make my coffee. with my collagen. Yummy. So I've been mixing my collagen in my iced coffee because you really cannot taste it when it's in iced coffee. And I also put my syrups, you know, it's a sugar free syrup. Someone had said that they do have like the regular um, syrup that's not sugar free. Um, if you know the name, I can put in my iced coffee or even in hot coffee. Um, let me know down in the comments because the ones that I have, I got them from Home Goods and they are sugar free. They're good, but I can still get that little taste at the end. You know what I mean? Like if you've ever drank Diet Coke um, or anything diet or anything sugar free, then you know what I'm talking about. This is supposed to be for skin, hair, nail, and joint support. So it's overall, it's like taking vitamins. Um, but I've heard that it's really good for, you know, clearing out your skin and giving you 
good skin so i don't know my problem side is this side i don't know if you guys can see that like the discoloration this side of my face is my good side you know it's not as bad this side of my face i don't know why for some reason this is the side that i always have issues so uh, don't mind my look right now um but yeah so we eat shower and then um i need to run to Saks because i need to get a dress for this event that i'm going to on friday it's a gala it's like a charity event. I posted it on my Instagram and I said, if you are in New England, Boston, Rhode Island, Maine, even New York City, if you're in this area and you wanna go, I gave you guys the opportunity to go because it's a charity event. It's a um, silent auction, I think is what they said. And basically, um, they're gonna be some daddies rich, okay? There are gonna be some rich men in there, so. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy my tickets. Kind of like um, like when I bought my ticket and I went to the US Open to potentially meet a sugar daddy. I bought a ticket to go to this gala to potentially meet a sugar daddy there. You know, um, this is what I call freestyling. Freestyling is not for the weak. It's not for women that don't have money to invest in this type of events, but I kind of have that opportunity right now to invest my money into, you know, placing myself in places that I could potentially meet, you know, my rich husband or my new daddy, whatever. Um, so yeah, so the event is on Friday. Um, I'm pretty sure today is Wednesday, so I need to go find a dress. I don't know why I did not order a dress on Monday and had it shipped between two business days. Maybe I can still do that. Maybe I can do like next day delivery thing but i need to i need to get a dress and it's an all white event so i have to wear white i can't show up in a different color and then it's a gala so it's a very extravagant long dresses like almost like red carpet event type um so yeah so i'm super excited about that to see what happens um yeah and i'm gonna bring you guys along we need to go find me a dress today and um, a pair of shoes to match and then yeah we're gonna see what happens i really want to take my hair out and do braids like big braids or something but yeah i'm kind of kind of getting over this uh sewing life and i think it's been a while since i've had braids in my hair so i think i want to do braids um but we'll see hopefully i can find an outfit today and so then tomorrow I can, you know, get my nails done, do my hair, all of that stuff. So yeah, that's what's going on today. Just a little bit of shopping. I'm doing laundry at the moment right now as well. I get to wash my sheets and stuff like that. What I really need to do, what I really, what I really, to do is this and this is clean clothes okay this is clean clothes that I need to put away so as you can see we've got bathing suits like some of the stuff that I wore while I was in Italy this needs to be put away so this is what I really need to do and I have just been lazy but yeah and another thing i'm tired of having my jewelry in um jewelry boxes so i need but the thing is like i don't want to throw the boxes away but i don't like this anymore this is very disorganized like you know look at all my cartier boxes all the van cleef boxes like I need to organize this so I need to get um, a proper jewelry box or jewelry organizer I also need to um, oh, <laughs> one of my um, purchases while I was in Rome 
People were like, oh my god, I didn't go shopping. You guys are going to see my gifts little by little. Things that I bought while I was out in Rome. This is one of them. It was really cute. I'm actually going to put this today because I haven't worn this at all. Um, but yeah, I want to get also like a thing to stand my perfume on. Like this whole closet needs to be organized. I need to get something to hang my belt because I have like my Hermes Kelly belt over here. This um, belt from my Zimmerman short. <sighs> I just, I need to organize this whole closet. Okay. And yeah. So, you know what? This might be a whole vlog of its own because you know what? You, um, you guys wanted me to do basically like a closet tour. So, I think... I will focus on that next week. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I need to do in that closet. And I think I'm going to do like a whole closet thing of its own. Because you guys did want me to do a closet tour. Of basically showing some, you know, pieces in my closet. And like my whole closet and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to do that. Because what I'm doing is next week I think I want to get some more stuff. And basically reorganize my closet and redecorate it. So then I will do a, a closet tour next week with basically me reorganizing and, you know, putting the stuff together and making it look cuter because right now it looks crazy. <laughs> I know I said I was going to run some errands, but you know what? <clears throat> I ended up finding a dress on uh, Saks on the website, and it said it had same-day delivery. So I'm going to try to order it tonight, and hopefully, I don't know if it's same-day delivery to my house, or if it's a same-day delivery um, to the closest Saks to me. Um, but so I ended up just basically going and taking a nice shower. Did my, uh, you know, daily facial routine. Um, I need to show you guys the products that I've been using because I did add something new in my, um, in my, um, everyday, you know, daily, like, morning routine and, uh, nighttime routine, um, for my face. And I think it has been making such a big difference. Um, and I did get the um, black girl sunscreen that everyone was recommending and that's what I've been using so it's been doing your girl good because Italy was hot okay when I say it was hot it was hot and I should have did braids like I um, had thought about with my hair but there wasn't much time for me to um, you know do braids and shop and everything and then i got sick so there was a lot going on before that italy trip and then when i got there i had my straightener i was straightening my hair but at some point i just gave up because it was so hot when i say hot i think it was like over 100 degrees every day and i mean it was bad okay it was bad <laughs> um so but whatever it still looked good i still came out looking cute at the points that i needed to look good and that's all that matters feeling fresh and then i made up my bed because um i needed to change my sheets and um put some new sheets and now i feel like you know i can lay here and i'm clean my bed is clean yeah, it's so funny that I got these Hermes um, pillow and blanket and I barely put them on my bed. They actually sit on my hammock right there. 
yeah but isn't it cute i thought the hammock right there was cute i say this every time i thought it was cute my little picture right there you know it's cute very minimalist um so yeah so i will put like my hermes blanket and the pillow on there when i'm not um when i'm not using them my battery is dying i don't know why um but yeah so anyways i found a dress that i'm going to order and hopefully this dress fits me how i want it to fit and hopefully it works for my um for my thing on friday um but yeah guys so i'm just gonna stay in the house do some laundry i'm washing those sheets that i just took out of my bed um and then i'm gonna throw some loads in and then honestly i might tackle that closet we put in my clothes away because it's not cute that i have them on my carpet and i need to actually i don't like that carpet anymore i kind of want a different carpet that one was just not my style. I don't even know why I did it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to try to find a different carpet. But that is pretty much what this day has been all about. Uh, I don't think I'm going anywhere. I don't know why I thought I was going anywhere. But we're going to try again tomorrow for the errands. I honestly want to go to... Um, cb2 in west elm um i also want to because i need another vase for my pumpus grass from like how many vlogs ago that i bought i still haven't found the proper vase to put them in or gotten the proper vase to put them in so i have to do that anyways <clears throat> so yeah today ended up being a absolutely do nothing day actually that's a lie i worked out period i'm doing laundry so technically i am doing something i'm not leaving the house but I'm doing something. I don't know why I even bother washing this dog and then I feed her wet food and then this is what she ends up looking like. This is what she ends up looking like. Right, mama? <laughs> ah, she's so cute. Right, Chanelly? Right, Chanelly? So, uh, ended up ordering some food. From a cheesecake factory. I haven't had food from them in a while. Oh no. I put my carrot cake on top of my food and it heat up my um frosting, but I got some carrot cake. And then I got I think they call it the Louisiana chicken pasta. I believe is what they call it, but yeah. Order some food. Yana chicken pasta. And I got some carrot cake. Uh I don't know, but working out has been making me hungry. I usually don't eat this much. Afternoon, you guys. It is the next day. It's Thursday, it's August 4th, and I am finally about to run those errands. I told you guys I was going to do yesterday. We're also going to go get our nails done today. And then we're also going to go to Saks today, do a little bit of shopping. Did not work out today. <laughs> today was a lazy day, did not work out. Um, had some breakfast. Drinking my water, did drink my collagen this morning, so that's good. No coffee for me this morning. I should have made a matcha, but I'll probably do it later. I'm gonna change my battery and then we can head out. Tank top and short on and that is, that is it, so. Where'd you go? I'm not you, so I'm
an hour. I basically came back after my nails. Let me show you guys. So I basically just did the same. I did the same thing, um, but I got like a flower on these two nails and then just my typical French because it goes with everything. I'm going to be wearing white. It's an all white event. So it only made sense <laughs> for me to do, you know, French. And then I wanted to be cute. So I got these um, flowers on these two nails. So yeah. Anyway, so now I'm going to run to Saks. I have like an hour and a half before they close. Um, and I'm gonna go see if I can find something um, to wear tomorrow. So if not, let's just pray and hope that this dress that I ordered is going to come tomorrow. I already have a bag. I wanna see if I can get another pair of shoes um, to go with my dress. If not, I'll just wear my um, Renee Kovali, however you say her, um, her name. Um, but yeah, so I just wore this black dress. It's below the knee. Um, I got this dress from Travis Tadeo. Um, if you watch my New York City blog, my 50K shopping spree in New York City, um, if you watch that vlog, um, you saw the, you know, I went to the shop, the designer and everything, like where they actually make the clothes. Um, so this is one of them. The material of this dress it's so freaking soft it's amazing like this is such a cute slip on black dress you can wear it with heels you can wear it with your Hermes um, slides like I am and you know and also I decided that since I'm going to be you know in the area where I can freestyle and stuff since I have to run to the mall I could uh, just go ahead and you know stop somewhere and see if I can, uh, you know, do anything. So that's what we are doing. I have my cell phone, lip gloss, brush, other phone. Taking my orange um, Hermes. Um, yes. Yeah, so. It's almost time for her to go for a uh, cleanup. So, yeah, that is the look. And let's go to Saks and see if I can, you know, find anything that I want to add into my closet. And I came back, I did laundry, so that's what you hear in the background. I'm basically getting ready to, um, like I told you guys, I'm going to film a. Um, closet tour and I'm gonna like kind of try to revamp my closet next week for you guys um, you know something a little different because I when I did show you guys my closet it was in a vlog um, so I guess I can dedicate like a video to just my closet in general and showing you guys some pieces in my closet I'm pretty sure you will know of everything that I have in my closet but you know what I mean like show you guys some pieces in my closet some of my favorite pieces, some of my non-favorite pieces, um, and you know, some pieces that I will never throw out because they remind me of something. If you guys want that video, please comment down below or thumbs up this video, let me know, so that I can, you know, it gives me the motivation to do it. But either way, I'm going to do it, but let me know if that's something you guys want. Okay, so it is a Friday, August 5th. Today is the big day. I talked about it. I'm going to a charity event um, gala. It's like an auction thing. Uh, they're calling it a silent auction. So basically, I'm going to an event where um, people are going to be, you know, 
buying things and then also it's a charity event for um the sport polo it's it's hard to explain what it is this would be a great place to go in freestyle to meet rich people mingle with the rich um so this is what i basically do when i say freestyle the tickets were 300 dollars, and that was for a basic ticket i think it was 375 that i paid for so freestyling isn't cheap okay when i did the um us open the golf go check that vlog out um when i did that when i invested my money i paid about 700 dollars for the first um, day and then the second time I went on Sunday so I paid for Friday and I went Friday met guys and then they basically paid for me to come back on Sunday um, so basically I'm kind of doing the same thing with going to this event today and you know hoping that I can meet me a potential yacht daddy rich daddy i don't know auction daddy whatever whoever we meet today we're gonna have to come up with a name for him um but yeah so this is how i meet rich men nowadays um i don't do the bumble i like first of all i think bumble has facial recognition so they definitely banned me either that or they've watched my youtube videos and see that i encourage women to use bumble to like meet guys but they definitely got me banned and facial recognition and everything um so i don't do bumble tinder all of that stuff um so now i'm only left with basically you know going to certain events like this or certain websites that you need to subscribe to my patreon if you would like to know about them um but my dress came in i think i was telling you guys that i was ordering a dress online I was going to go to Saks and get one, but I ordered it online um, instead. So we're going to open her. Um, I did get this dress from Revolve. They were the only site that seemed to have um, literally like overnight delivery. So I ordered this Thursday night. Was it Thursday night? No, I ordered this Wednesday night. Um, they had it shipped out yesterday and it came in today, but I'm having a hard time opening it. So basically it's one day shipping is what I paid for and it came with UPS Express. Um, something that's in there, but this is the dress. And I was so worried because the bag that I'm going to wear with it, I, for some reason, thought that this chain on the dress was silver and my bag has um, gold. So I was like, oh my God, that's not going to look cute. That's going to be tacky. But the dress actually comes with a gold chain. So this is what the dress looks like. It's a super long, it is backless. Ooh, you guys are gonna see when I put it on. But I told you guys, this was a all white um, gala. So I basically looked under the um, bridal section on Revolve. Um, and this is how I was able to find this dress. So it's super long. And yeah, so I'm gonna wear this. I have to be really careful about my makeup because you guys know if you're a dark skinned woman, if you're black in general, and you know, when it comes to our makeup and getting it on white, geez. Up next, I have some things to show you guys. So yeah, so I gotta do your products to go with it. Of course, I was filming my real unboxing, um, but we have the, the Dior receipt. We got the ribbon, which I already took off. 
come to the dust bag. But this is the bag that I got. It's a white Christian Dior. Comes with the gold hardware. This is what she looks like. Very cute. Inside of it. Always need your Dior authenticity card, so I'm gonna hold on to that. But this is what the inside of the bag looks like. It is supposedly caviar leather even though it looks and feels like lambskin um she said it's caviar leather so it's pretty durable um yeah so i don't know i just thought this would be a cute bag to wear with my um dress today and she showed me how to make the chain smaller so it's a lot more you know dressy I can hold it like this let's move the box um, I can hold it like this this or just you know down but yeah so she showed me how to make the chain smaller um, Take the stickers off of it. Uh -huh. Boom. Show you guys the stuff that fits in here. So I've got my cell phone. It has a place for um, your cards and stuff, so you don't need to bring a wallet unless you have a, you know, um, one of those. Uh, card holders but this comes with a place where you can put all of your credit cards and debit cards and ID so I'm basically just packing my bag right now because this is the bag that I'm going to be taking with me okay so this is the bag she's cute Christian Dior and yeah, so added her onto our bags of uh, bags of bags of bags because at this point this is my um, surprisingly though this is my only second Christian Dior bag. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start getting ready and I will come and show you guys what my outfit looks like, period. I'm super excited. Um, Alright you guys, I made it. I made it to the event. I'm here. I'm dressed. Um, I'm not even going to lie. I'm a little nervous about getting out of the car because I don't know anybody here. <laughs> My mom's here, but we had an agreement. I don't know her, she don't know me. That was the vibe. So I'm a little nervous, um, but I'm here. And I'm trying to value my car, but I had to basically, you know, change into my heels and all of that stuff. So I'm actually waiting for one of you guys because I did post it on my Instagram. And so she is coming, and so I'm waiting to see if she's gonna get here so we can walk in together. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna walk in by myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so we're here. And um, wish me luck. I'm gonna show you guys the outside of the place. It's absolutely beautiful. 
um, I'm concerned about my camera and where I'm gonna put it but I will try to bring you guys along so that you guys can see my outfit but yeah so guys we are here I'm super excited oh my god <laughs> anyways let's go let me go okay cuz these people are probably tired of me okay is that a Ferrari or a Porsche or what is that let me know okay daddy's pulling up period <laughs> Ooh, he is a fine man. All right, got to go. Let me go. All right, guys. Bye. event we went to yesterday so I'm here I sat my car with my new friends we got a bottle of food we're about to sip it and enjoy our time if you guys want to see my outfit if you guys want to see my outfit I will show you but it's a um, polo match so it's very outdoorsy we're in grass but i got my hat on i got these pants from aritzia i wore this while i was out in greece for the first time this top i believe is from azara i've got my new christian Dior bag and my hermes slides <laughs> 
But yeah, so we're at the pole. I'm so mad. Yesterday, last night, I did not really get a picture in my outfit. Or I, I got makeup on my hat. Oh, that's so cute. I just got this hat today, too. Um, but yeah, so I'm mad I didn't get a picture in my outfit. Or really, like, you know, an outfit check. But we're here. Excited. I want to show you guys what this looks like. But this is what freestyling is about, okay? You go to things like this. You go to places like this. So let me show you guys what a polo match looks like. Belt when we know you ain't even with I know you 